put in my new staking. If uh, y'all remember, there was a little trick shown by old CPO. But I'll never remember how to do it. Let's get these guys out of here. There's a hole in here somewhere. This to the line here. Just line this guy up right here. Put your screw. There's a little notch closer to the front than your expel. Oh, sorry, go to this one. So this line here. There's a little notch. Uh, well. I think I put this one upside down. Yeah, I think I did. Let's see if that works. Oh, there's the notch there. Oh, yeah, I must put this one upside down. That is working, does it? So twisted around. There we go. Yeah. All right. So that piece moves around. I don't think you can see it like that. There you go. A little bit. So line this up. Should be a little notch right around the P. Just put your screwdriver in there. Give this another shot. Can't seem to get it right. So there's a little nub you go up there, and then you're supposed to pull down. But I think I might have messed this one up when I took it out before. If it doesn't seem to want to go in there. Yeah, it's just not working. Well, let's just see if I can get back here and push this guy out. Also not working. Yeah, so that will work. It just didn't work for me because I had messed it up before. Let's do that on fry tool. Pop straight out. Hurt your hand a little bit. There's a little red nub back here. underneath your steering wheel. Easier when I need that. Yeah, if y'all remember, I bought these new plastic. If you watch my other videos, I bought these new plastic clips here to go in here. So that's why I was sticking in so tight. So those clips definitely work. Okay. Remember, all we need is our 7mm socket. Mm 
And got a hand about four. Uh, with a four screws to get out. Or maybe just three. See, I don't have the top ones. So I don't use that little shaft. So I got this guy here. Get that off, and the whole thing should just pop right now. Yeah, these new clips really hold them in good. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess it's a good thing. It does make it difficult to get it out, but I guess in theory you shouldn't be taking it out. It's not a lot of weirdos like me that take their Jeep apart every week. Alright, so then we got the old three piece combo. This guy's out. Back here we got our standard unscrew my GPS. Unplug my F AM FM. Just gonna unplug all these clips. Yeah. Let's let this one unplug so easy. cables that are in. Alright, so that covers the removal of the old Seiki. And my goal is to see if I can just reuse this thing uh, instead of having to recut the old one. I recut the new one, but I'll compare them in just a sec. So it's interesting to note this is my old Deseda. It still has my plastic clips in. My new Seikane, old Seikane, same old barking dog. Whereas the old Seikane and new Seikane are different. You can see this one has a big notch here, and then the one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six lower holes. The new Seikane just has the one, two, three, four lower holes, but so does the Seiking. I know that the Seda, sorry. And you can even see where the Seiking has the bracket in place and looks like the, the Seda had the same thing, it's just been cut out. So. Right there, you can see they cut this off. 
can right here and cut this off. So to make it easier on me, I'm just gonna reuse the Zeta. But if you get the Zeta cane, you just have to cut these out. Alright, so old say cane, old say though, but the same as say cane. I'm just gonna show you all I gotta do is take this guy out. You can see up in here is a little nub. It's that little doohickey up here. You press that down and slide it out. So you should. Just press it down, slide it over, right? Keep it up top there. Just like that. Goes right in and just slide it back. These should be straight up. Alright. Got all my clips on this guy. One clip, two clip, three clip, four clip. Uh, again, I'll put the model number of those clips in there. It's totally worth it to buy them and just add them in there. Alright, so now I've got my head unit out here. These are the clips I was referring to. Uh, I don't even know if it says a model number on there. Maybe this is the number. Whatever it is, these things work. There's one. That's a factory one, I think. This is one from my uh... see. It's pretty great. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. I have these clips, and now knowing what I've known, I'm gonna put in three or four of these units. I should be able to very easily get this guy installed in a matter of two more. Yes, I got two more used one but I've got enough of these to be fine. Alright so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on that one and one, two, three, four on this one. So fourteen total clips. You can just reuse other ones, but I said it's a big pain in the ass to take those in and out. Alright, so now we're just gonna start hooking this guy up. So I'm saying I've done this about three times now, four times maybe. So, where's my first say came? It was like a two hour install. Let's see if I can get this done in 30 minutes or less. Big line goes on top, so the wide line there. This should snap right in. Actually, let me check these wires first. Yeah, this one I'm not going to use, right? Because it's just extra wires I don't need, right? Subwoofer, that's not how mine works. Your outs. Center channel, I guess. Yeah, all the line outs I don't need. I'm going to reuse the same microphone that I already have. It's the same thing. It looks exactly the same. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I'll test it to be sure, but I can't imagine it's not going to work. Right, so this guy goes in there, but let me see. I need to connect any of these wires first. So we got a break. So let's see if there is a break. There is a break. Pink break. Brown break. Little bullet connector should just slide in on top of each other, real easy. And then you just put the bumper guys on top of each, just slide the rubber guy over it. Easy peasy. Uh, amp connector would go to this guy, 
I said mine doesn't work that way, so I don't know, but I probably maybe I still will. Alright, so we don't need that. Amp connector, then we got back CA, which would be backup camera. Uh, I'm gonna assume that goes to reverse. So I'm gonna plug in backup camera into reverse. So as you can see, we're doing back car into reverse. Same deal, these little guys just slide right over each other. I'm gonna tape them up just to be sure, but it's a pretty good connection. Alright, what else we got over here? Oh, we got left amp connection, I guess. Alright, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. I don't know why I have extra ground and. What else we got here? We got uh, our auxiliary in, auxiliary out. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna make a judgment call. If you had the Alpine system, which I did not, you're gonna wanna connect this amp connect to this amp connect but I don't have that system so I'm just going to tape all these guys up that I don't use professional car guy. I'll do this pretty sloppy. Maybe someday I'll fix it properly. And now I'm just kind of in a hurry. It started just too late. Like I always do. Should be all the guy. Oh, there's that. I don't know if I should use that ground or not. I'm gonna be taking this whole thing apart again because I'm ordering an amplifier. But all right, for now, like I said the only thing I'm connecting is brake and back car. All right, and then. Alright, so again, the wide part goes up top, clips right in. These black guys only go one way. They also clip right in. Alright, and so that should be all I need, right? Because I'm not using these guys. I don't know what that extra guy is for. Now, should be just about done with this. So, what I'm gonna do, you know, like I've learned from doing this, that I think the best method is try to connect all three of these pieces together out here. See that little slant right there? This groove here goes into this hole. I think that's the key to this whole thing working. So when that goes in, it gets kind of tight. Alright, so now I got all that there. 
all these guys down here. See how nice and tight that fits. So that should work. Alright, so. Got this whole contraption put together. Goal at this point. Try to hook these wires up. Like I said, I'm just reusing. I'm not reloading my. You watch my other videos, I've reran these wires two or three times there's the microphone it goes all throughout there and then here any other video should have that listed all right so let's get all these wires where they need to go next to my extra usb i think i will i'll go ahead and plug that in here so that's the metro adapter i use to plug into the center console usb but that got plugged in. Actually, no, I don't want. <clears throat> I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna try to get their DVR camera. All right. So for now, I'll just leave that one not used. This is my radio adapter. I'm plug this guy in right here. These are tied up nice and tight. Like I said, I got two or three other videos. I've done this several times. One here. So this is the adapter I'll put a link to. So you can just use this to reuse your existing G GPS as opposed to using their plug-in. Both of them should work fine. It's just one less wire to deal with. Now, here is my extension cable. Gonna plug that into these wires here. So we have AV1 out. So that's gonna go with yellow here. No, that's not what I want. AV out. That's if you had something to hook up there. I don't have an AV out. That should be if you have an extra head unit. Camera in, I do have. I'll do that in a second. Right, so these guys are what I'm looking for. Video in. This will be why I'm going to try to run a front camera. And this is the left in and red in. Alright, so we got that. USB. Just gonna try to. So that's the other end of this guy, right? So I'm gonna take the USB and do the same, exact same thing. And I'm just gonna follow him. It's easier if you take your glove box out, but I've done this, like I said. Plenty of time, so. Alright, so all I have left to do now connect this guy here, and this is my camera, so let's do that. Camera in. Should be this one, right? That's all I want to see. So camera in. Alright, oh, actually, I need my microphone. That's right. There's your microphone. And I'm gonna plug that into this hole right here. Alright. And as soon as I plug this in, should be in business. Turn around. Alright. So now here comes the not so fun part. Alright. All is one piece now. I'm trying to pull these wires down the front. Put this guy together. Slide him over here. 
careful not to scratch your instrument panel. More careful so this thing doesn't come apart. That's the worst. Get this guy out of the game Yeah, we got a regular forum. Got this brilliant idea of not putting this air conditioner vents in there. That way you can still hold it. And that's definitely the way to do it. I just need to make my air conditioner vents are clear. See it popped out. All right, got to come back to. It. All right, I hope that recorded. I don't know if it did or not, but you can see RDS is working. I'm not turn that down. All right, so it looks like uh, it's pretty ugly interface for the radio, but it works. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, let's see. I'll go down one notch. Oh, let's go back up. 98.9 is a station here in Louisville, so it's 99.7. So let's try to hold that down. There we go. There we go. So you just hold the button program. That, that works. That's good. I should be able to back out to get out of there, which is good. Uh, let's just see now if there's right, so the volume works. Make sure my camera works. There we go. Looks good. And let's go to settings. Let's see if any apps. So this button should get you to your apps. And this should take you back to home. So apps we have. A2D2 calendar. A2DP, which is your Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth clock. GPS info. So I just want to see if the GPS is working. Looks good. The only other thing I'll be missing is my microphone. I can't test that until I tie my phone to it. Alright, so this looks good. Uh, let's just check. Uh, let's just see what's going on. Let's go to settings. 
Mm, let's just check about storage. Let's check that guy out real quick. So yeah, they got 5.81 out of 14. Sounds about right. Nothing else should be plugged in. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see. About machine says so Android 7.12, 7 PX3, 7.12, 7 hey, Android security patch, May 5th, 2017, well that's a winner if that's accurate, that's pretty, I mean, it's, could be better of course, but compared to the ones I had previously that were in 2015 and 2016, oh yeah, so let's just see if this uh, VR button does anything, doesn't make any sound, neither does your telephone button. That sucks. Let's see if it does anything here if I press them. Yeah, nothing. Middle nub button in the back makes a sound, mutes it, okay. Middle nub, nub on the right changes your source. Alright. That looks good for now. That's what I'm going to do. All right, uh, yeah, so here's what I did. Uh, like I said, I had to turn the camera off, but install it without the air conditioner in and without this air conditioner in, and then you can get in there pretty good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so a little bit of a gap here, but that will push in. And then, oddly enough, if you push the steering wheel up, it works better. But now it looks like everything's working good. So, uh, a little bit of a gap there, but that should, I might be able to tighten that up. In here. But, like I said, uh, it's too dark for this stuff now. I don't think I might be able to tighten all that down. Alright, got some items here. First thing we're going to do is stick in micro SD card and hope it works. Let's see, 64 gigabyte Samsung Pro something. It's supposed to go. We'll try this way. It's... Well, that's not how I want him to go. What worked? Well, I don't know how the hell you ever get that thing out of there? But yeah, it looks like it sees it. Yeah, there we go. So I recognize my micro SD card. That's good. I did not feel like it went in there well, but it did. Here's my cord. You can see from. Uh, Love box. I lost a couple of clips in the transaction. I'll put those back on. Right, this guy. All we gotta do is get that in there. Nothing's in the way. Pretty good. Alright. That guy's in there good. That one 
just one I messed up. It's nothing to do with the fit of the sight cane. It's just, make sure all these wires are out of the way. Let's probably do my air conditioning control first. Time. Sure you know which side's up. Put your same red tab print. Can't see nothing. There we go. Alright. It's on there. Let me slide our red tab if you can get to it. I can. Alright, so I got that done. That one works. That one works. That one works. That one works. Alright. So now let's get all these wires out of the way of that air conditioning vent. It's good in there, right? And we will. So that one clipped because it works. Alright, same deal here. Make sure our vents clear it is. And yeah. I think I messed these guys up because I didn't do them right the first couple times. But sometimes, and only sometimes brute force is not the best way to go. Alright, that works. Yeah, that works. Alright, so I've got all that good. Let me get this stuff back in here like it should be. Warranty information. Emergency mask. Keep stuff. Tuck these, um, these wires under the Jeep stuff. All right, yeah, we're in business. So, in case you're still uh, wondering what to do here, all you really need. Is a pry tool like this and that seven millimeter guy that I showed earlier. Alright, kill this light. Alright. So Sometimes I like to go ahead and do a factory reset and just see what happens. So I've got all these guys. And again, I don't know if there is well, there's instructions about that. I wonder what they are. Well that's super bright. Well that that's a lot of information. the most in-depth uh, digital instruction manual I've seen. Hmm. Yeah. Don't want to lose this guy. I know how to do all that stuff, but still nice to have it. So let's see if I can find a flash. My GPS is, that's my car, right? So my flash, and let's Copy that and put it on the flash. Alright. 
And right. I think that should be you know, I don't really care about any of other stuff. Let's see if it gets done. Like I said, we want to make sure everything's nice and clean. I know factory reset doesn't necessarily mean everything's nice and clean, but uh, I like to check. There's a user signed in there, just me. I don't know who that is. Watch this. Oh, I guess you can make you can sign a guest in, I guess. I wonder if you can lock this device. Yeah, it's security. Let's see if there's any device administrators in there. Just the Android device manager, that's good. Turn that off for now. Alright. Uh, so let's try to do a backup and reset. Factory data reset. Reset machine. Erase everything. I like to start fresh and see how it goes. It should take a while. Racing. That screen's different than any previous Android I've had for these type of units. It keeps kind of brown looking. I don't, I don't know if that shows up on this camera. This is my Huawei Mate 9. Uh, the Mate 10 just came out, and they kept a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which I'm pretty excited about, and it should have a better camera. So, it's really the only thing wrong with this phone is the camera's not great and doesn't have wireless charging, but everything else is pretty stellar about it. So, I will most likely pick up the Mate 10, unless it's a $1,000, because I'm out of that game. I'm not paying 1000 bucks for phones anymore. I'll buy four or five head units, but no $1,000 phones, please. Thank you. Android is starting. You like that? All right. All right. So that's good. Let's see if I lost anything. Don't think so. Uh oh. Yep. Get rid of that. Uh yes. Looks like. What's that? Uh, I need to set the back up again. Yeah. Connect. Yeah, so the instructions are gone, and so is I go, but I don't really care about I go. Alright, so that's good. There's a little lag there. I don't like that. Alright, so this looks good so far. Alright, let's go ahead and connect to my Wi Fi. <coughs> Save my instructions, that's good. Alright, I uh, don't care about that right now. Don't care about this right now. Let's go ahead and go to Wi Fi. She turned on. Cheatnet is my cheat, but I like Stranger Danger is my. Hey, look at that. I kept my keyboard, I like it. Alright, I'm on my guest network. Now let me connect a Google account. So this interface is what Joy used to have a long time ago. That is crazy bright at 9.04 p.m. Holy crap, that's bright. Pretty bright. Can't keep looking at that. Come on, let's check a little faster, shall we? Hey, I'm just gonna pause this. All right, got signed in. Accept that. That's a very old version of Google Play. Let's get started. So that's a good way to show you what I do when I first get a device. I'll go to settings. Uh, first, I'll turn off this stupid thing. No one wants that. Uh, you don't want to add your icons there. And then you click on the Play Store version, I should say. A new version will be installed. Alright, so that's good. 
and you can see it's already doing it so that's great it's pretty good Androidness. I'll go ahead and set up my radio line in here while I'm waiting for that down. Let's go ahead and go to I, if you watch any of my videos, you know I don't listen to regular radio, but my wife does. So if she ever drives it, then she can have something to listen to. It's gonna get opposite feel. And if you're just listening. You can do eighty dollars a month or a hundred dollars a month. Yes, it, 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 it. I don't know how to get it to go on the direct station. Yeah, nine six point five should be a station. Actually, I'll do that here. Eight dot nine or nine seven point five would also be one, I guess. But anyway, right. and then nine nine dot seven should be one. And I think one point five. Let's go to one oh This man's crying out to Christ. They live in a It's not a playground, ain't no few fight blasting. Said it looking for me like I'm not a hair man. If I That's doing. I don't know. I like it though. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be learning all the stations, maybe. Jing Z, Google Play update all. There we go. And the new Google Play icon that's super bright still. That looks like the new interface. There, there you go. That looks good. Got my app switcher button. It's changing right, so. Oh, so you can slide this guy over. In ministry. Alright, so this, this button turned on that LOC symbol, I don't know what that means. Either way, I don't listen to radio, so I don't care. Alright. <coughs> Seems automatically found my time and date by itself, that's good. Up here we got some options. Alright, so let's go settings. A little bit of lag, but that's new, so we'll see if that clears itself out pretty soon or not. If it doesn't, then it'll be a problem, but for now it seems alright. Uh, brightness level, night display is what we want. So night, we usually turn that guy all the way down. Yeah. That's what I want. And on daytime. Should be max, yeah, here we go. Font size, default, all that. All right, well, I'll go through all this stuff later. Uh, right now, we're just kind of see what's going down. Storage, there we go. Memory, there we go, two gigs of memory. Uh, let's check out security. I'm gonna turn off unknown sources, device administrators, we'll turn on. Uh, Android device manager that way if I ever lose 
I get robbed or something, somebody steals my Jeep, I should be able to track it down, assuming this guy works. Alright, got that. Now. Alright. Wilkie okay, probably still didn't do anything, does it? Yeah, won't need to do anything. That's because I have a CAN bus adapter. That's standard. Alright. It's got to find a way to get a play pause button here somehow. I'll figure it out. Alright, for now we're looking pretty good. I'm going to take it out for a spin and see. Look, it even changed this guy to a new symbol. That's cool. Alright, I'm going to take it for a spin here and we'll see how we're doing. Alright, I just need to make one more add on. And I thought I should clarify. I found this pretty cool. I'm still setting things up. And it appears that uh, OK Google works for main screen. So watch this. OK Google, where's Waffle House? OK Google, where's Waffle House? So it takes two tries, but it still works. Waffle House is at Waffle House, 4029 Taylorsville Road, Louisville, Kentucky, 40220. Oh, that's pretty great. Let's try again. OK, Google. What's the temperature? All right, so you got to say it twice. OK, Google, what's the temperature? I was doing this really fast before I recorded this video, so I blame you all. It's 55 degrees in Louisville right now. Alright, so it's uh, working. It's Like I said, still downloading music now on my back of my home Wi-Fi. I was doing that while I was driving a minute ago. Uh, right now I'm on my home Wi-Fi and I'm parked a little further away, so and it is still downloading music right now. Uh, yeah, so uh, for people that like that OK Google stuff, it's working. Um, yeah, I think we have ourselves a winner in the head unit battle royale. So I'll do uh, follow-ups, of course, but for now, looking pretty great.